Hi, my name is Jonathan with the Firehouse Casual Living Store. Today we want to go over what to do if your remote stops working. Um, you go to grab your remote, you can no longer turn your log set on and off. No matter what buttons I hit, nothing happens. So well over 95% of the time, it's simply that the batteries need to be replaced. And then there is a quick process to sync the handheld to the receiver after replacing those batteries. When you replace the batteries, the, the signal, the radio frequency is lost between the two. And so you have to reset that function. So the first thing I'm going to diagnose is, does the handheld part seem to be working right? There is a red LED indicator on this remote that will tell us that. When I hit the on button, I happen to see that the red LED indicator is working. So I know there is power to the remote. Should you not see that LED indicator working, you know that you need to replace the batteries in the remote. But it's so much more common to have to replace the batteries in the receiver. The reason for that is that this receiver is constantly looking for a signal. So these batteries are constantly working. The battery in the remote is only working when you push a button. So more common to replace the batteries in the receiver. First though, if the LED indicator is not showing you that there's any power to the remote, we wanna go ahead, take the, the back off, and look at the battery. The most common size battery that is used in the handheld is an A23. It's the same thing you'd use for like a garage door opener. You can find them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. They're very common. Occasionally you'll see that some remotes use maybe two double A's or a couple triple A's. So just take a look. But if it is this A23, it is easily found these days. So I'm gonna put this back in because this part was working fine. Now, the receiver is not working. So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna simply replace the batteries. I'm gonna pop off the back, take out these batteries, and hey, my first indication that these batteries aren't working well is this is not one of the name brands, the better quality batteries. So I really love to use the high quality Energizer or Duracell batteries, get a fresh brand new pack. That's gonna be your, your best chances of getting this right for the long run. So I'm gonna take out these batteries. Um, it happens to be four AA batteries. And in this case, I happen to have Energizer here. Energizer or Duracell works great. Four brand new batteries. It tells me where to put the negative and the positive sign. So that's very easy. Pop these in. When I pop this last battery in, suddenly it's gonna get power and it's probably gonna beep at me. And when it beeps, it lets you know, okay, I've got power, which is usually a good signal. It doesn't always do that, but usually you'll hear that beep. I'm gonna slide this back on. Now on the front of this, if we can zoom in a little bit, on the front of this, we have, in this case, a off, a setting for off, a setting for remote, and a setting for on. We have uh, what up here is called learn. This is where we're gonna resync the handheld to the receiver. It's important that when you're doing this process that this switch is in the remote setting. If it's not in the remote setting, this will not work. Now, I'm gonna take something like a pen or small screwdriver works fine too. I'm gonna gently push the learn button. And I just have to be careful because it's very sensitive. I don't wanna break anything internally. Um, and I don't want to hold it in. I just want to push it once again. Typically, you're going to hear a beep. I hear my beep. Within about 20 seconds, I need to push any button on this remote. When I do that, I got a multiple series of beeps. They are now connected. So now I can hold my on. In this case, this is a variable remote. It'll turn the flame on for us. And I'll hit off to turn this off. And I just want to recap. First, check your batteries by determining if the LED light is working on your handheld. If that's working, replace four AA batteries in your receiver. Use a pen to lightly press the learn button quickly. Don't hold it down forever. Maybe hold it down for about a second. You should typically hear a beep. You have to make sure it's in the remote setting right before doing that. And as soon as you hear that beep, go ahead and hit a button on your remote. Everything resyncs, you're back up to working great again. The last point I wanna make is that this receiver does not like heat. No electronics do. 
it's very important to get the proper placement of this receiver. Now, if, if there is no good spot in the fireplace that it's hidden from the heat, you should keep it outside the fireplace. That is our recommendation. In this case, I have a valve that will be protecting this receiver and I can tuck it behind this valve and keep it protected from this heat. But for our sake, I'm gonna leave it right there and we'll come back and we'll end up covering up those wires, hiding those a little bit better. And that's how you sync your handheld to your receiver after replacing your batteries. Once again, Jonathan with the Firehouse Casual Living Store, thank you.